Hey everyone, welcome to the video. This one we're gonna talk about source patching and track targeting. We're also gonna show you another way of editing. Okay, so let's look at the other way of editing. I wanna show it to you because I don't use it myself very much because there's, there's a couple of ways of doing it, right? We've worked out the way of using the old uh, razor tool to kind of razor it and you know start deleting stuff. We've also dragged the ends using the selection tool. That's one way of doing it on the timeline. Okay, another way we just learned was doing it in the source monitor. Okay, we were sending in and out points. Okay, so let's find a bit of footage. Let's all do this together. Go to cam A, find something. What are we going to use? I'm going to use AO12. It doesn't really matter. Just double click it so it opens up in my source monitor. Okay, and in here we set in and out points, right? Say you like this part, we set it in, go down here, and we like an out. Okay, and we've just been dragging it across, okay, and adding it to our window. Now, a lot of people, okay, for good reason, like to do this. They just like to click override. You can see it just adds it to the timeline rather than having to drag it across. So that means you can kind of really quickly work and say, set my endpoints and my out points. That's I and O on your keyboard, in and out. And then just click, you can click the button, but if you are starting to get in this flow of rough cutting, can you see in the brackets there, insert is comma and the override is... Um, full stop or uh, period. Okay, you see them on your keyboard uh, down there next to the M key. Okay, and they're right next to each other. Just a handy kind of little shortcut. Go I, O, and then I'm going to use period to override. You can start, see, you can get a good flow going. I end up just dragging it across. No better, no worse, but I, you need to know both because um, you might start using it and it helps us understand this next thing called source patching. So what the hang is source patching and track targeting? It's uh, annoyingly confusing. Like I'm really good at it and I still like find it hard to explain. I had to re-record this a couple of times just to kind of like, okay, this is what it does. Okay, and what it's to do with is these guys here. Okay, so you'll notice that when I hit the uh, override button, so it puts it onto my timeline, uh, it uh, actually, first of all, before we go, I did override, we'll look at insert. Okay, you can use either either. I use override mostly, okay, when I'm using it. But let's look at insert. If I use the override, look what happens, it just sticks it there. If I hit insert, the exact same kind of clip here, can you see it cuts a hole and pushes the music along? So if I'm back here and I'm like, actually, I want to insert something right in the middle here, I'll hit insert and it will kind of like push everything else along. Let's look at the difference between override when you're over the top of some stuff. Look, it sticks it over the top. Cool. So there's a couple of things I've been ignoring. Let's delete all this. Is when I've been adding it, it's been adding it to weird tracks. Yours might be going to here. You're like, why is yours going to here? Or you might be using this and forever dragging it on afterwards. You're like, well, why does it sometimes appear on track? Kind of one, two, three, four, not at all. That is the thing called source patching. So I'm going to delete this. And it's to do with this kind of line here. These guys don't have any relationship to each other. Okay, they should be called something else, different colors, okay? And they disappear, okay? If you have nothing selected, um, nothing in your source monitor, okay, if I go file and I go close panel and I have nothing selected over here, <laughs> do I have nothing selected? You see, they disappeared. You're like, ha, they're gone. Okay, because what it needs to know is what you're, what you're talking about. So I'm gonna click on this, they appear. Double click it to open in the source panel so what is source patching? This is my source. Where is it going to patch to in here? So when I hit override now, it's patching the video to this track. Look at it. It's perfect on the exact one I said. And audio is going to this first track here, which is what I kind of told it to. So if you're like, actually, go there, buddy. Now I delete it and do the exact same. I'm going to use my shortcut, the period key. Okay, the source is patched to your timeline wherever these guys are. I'll show you it here just because you're going to be going through this course and you're going to have it, uh, if you have it off, I think it just patches to the, it still patches to the kind of, oh look, it turned it off and it only patched the audio. So I'll show you this more of a bug fix. You're going to be going along and having no audio, no video forever and restarting the machine and you'll eventually change your preferences and it'll start working again. Okay, up to delete your preferences. And you're like, hmm, it's mainly because of these guys. I have lots of problems you know, with my students in class by them clicking these things by accident. So where it's gonna go to this, to this window, you can turn them off. That brings us on to the next one, this group of them, something different, kind of similar, but they do a different job. It's called track targeting. Let's do that. 
All right, let's talk about the track targeting. Uh, there's no prizes for remembering the words track targeting, source patching. You just need to know kind of what these two groups do. This is where stuff comes from the source monitor. And this thing here is mainly to do with things like copying and pasting. And one of our little handy shortcuts I'm going to share with you um, because you sat through this video. Um, let's look at inserting. Okay, so it went to the um, these two tracks because of my source patching. Okay, but this one here, my track matching, watch what happens when I copy it and I paste it and I have this set to here. Okay, watch what happens, paste. Okay, it pastes to this one. Okay, which can be useful and really annoying. That's mainly what I show you because you're going to have it off, not realizing it or not knowing which one should be on. Okay, and it's going to end up at V3 or the wrong one. It is quite useful later on. Like at the moment, the default, okay, if you're like, man, this is all confusing, just have it here, make it look like this all on those two ones. That's the like, it's going to do probably what you think it's going to do or want it's going to do. Later on though, when you get a bit more handy with things, you can do things like if I want to copy this and you want to paste it kind of over the top of this. Okay. But if I paste it like this it kind of overrides. Okay. So what I want to do is actually say, you can go on track uh, v, V2 and the audio, not on one, not on two, but on three. You see, kind of wraps around the outside. So that's track targeting. Okay, so by default, have them all on. Um, one, because you did hang around, I'm going to give you a secret shortcut. So we've used the holding shift, okay, and dragging. And it kind of snaps to the beginnings and ends of all of these. That's really handy, right? There's another super handy one is the up and down arrow. Okay, so look at your keyboard. You've got the little cursors, the up, down, left, right. Just hit up. And you'll see on my one here, watch, up, yeah, up, up, up. Just jumps to the next, like, uh, chunk which can be really handy if you're like, I just want to go along to the end here. Rather than dragging it, you can just use your keyboard shortcuts or drag it, it's fine. But the one thing that will be maybe annoying is let's say that I'm down here. I've got something on this and I'm going to put the audio on here and move it down a little bit. I'm going to paste you, paste it here. So I've got all this stuff. And at the moment, if I have my cursor here and I hit up, it goes to the next one down, next one, next one, jump to the next one. So that's doing exactly what I hoped it would do. And um, if you turn these off, which what happens. Okay, so I only have it on V1 and A1. Okay, it won't see this guy because he's on V3. So if I hit my, I start over here, watch, next one, hitting down arrow, next one. Ah, it jumps it. You're like, whoa, just go to that one. Why aren't you doing that? It's because it doesn't acknowledge these exist without these little lights on. All right, that is track targeting and source patching. I show you here probably not so much as to like show you the benefits of copying and pasting over stuff because it's a bit early in the course for this. I'm showing you because it's a pain in the bum when they're off and you're like, oh, what's going on? You're like, Your, yours looks like this. Yours might already look like it. And you're like, oh, it feels like it should be doing something else. Remember, ah, just do that. It'll work just fine. And you learn a sweet shortcut up and down. Love it. Oh, and you learned a new way of editing, okay, using the uh, comma and the period key. Bam, bam, bam. Look at us editing. All right, I'll see you in the next video. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give the video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel here. And also, if you want to go a bit further with Premiere Pro, consider checking out my Premiere Pro Essentials course. There is a link in the description. Bye now.